Just a quick one, guys, before we do get into today's video, we have dropped our August Liverpool t-shirt collection. We've got the Liverpool fans tees, along with the Liverpool Capital Trophies t-shirts. Do browse the new collection by going down into the link in the description or go to copbikeclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well, before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Guys, we're trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the transfer window, so if you haven't already hit the big red button, please consider doing so, and in return I'll keep you on the straight and narrow with everything with regards to Liverpool Football Club this summer. Guys, it is the end of a era, I have got a brand new background, the green screen is behind, this is the last video that I'm going to be doing with the uh, generic sort of random backgrounds in random places. I'm back from my holiday, I'm back from my vacation and uh, ready for the upcoming campaign. New chapter on this channel as we take things serious. As I said, I do listen to people in the comments. I'm really, really excited to show you guys tomorrow. So do keep your eyes out for that one, the brand new background. I am buzzing. But guys, we do have some other stuff uh, away from the channel that actually involves Liverpool Football Club, so I should do my job and bring you the news with regards to the football club as there's some huge transfer news that we do need to discuss with you whilst also going over Liverpool's final pre-season game. Let's start with the game first, of course. The Premier League season starts literally less than a week as Liverpool take on Chelsea at Stamford Bridge and the club have had a fairly mixed in, uh, pre-season. It's been good, but in terms of result wise not always necessarily the best but as I said you can take from preseason what you will you don't get too caught in the highs nor do you get brought down too much in the lows but Liverpool of course finished their preseason with a 3-1 win over Darmstadt at Deepdale. Uh, goals from Salah, Jota and Diaz, whilst uh, also conceding one on the 10th minute. But overall, a good game. Standout performers, of course, Diaz, Ben Doak. What a player he looks, by the way. Every Liverpool fan sort of lauding him at the moment. Fantastic, fantastic coup by Liverpool last summer. I think he's going to be playing a big part um, this season. I think Jurgen Klopp really rates him and he deserves his chance. But another fantastic performance by him as well uh, but as I say the Reds end on a high there is positives uh, from the game of course but it all becomes very very real next week as Liverpool take on Chelsea at Stamford Bridge in that first Premier League game of the season now I've been speaking so much about the transfer news and transfer stuff lately over the last couple of days and there hasn't been much that's been the problem there hasn't been that much transfer news up until today I did say a third bid was going to be imminent for Romeo Lamb and it was confirmed just before the game, that's why I didn't make a video, uh, that Liverpool have, of course, submitted a third bid for Romeo Lavia. However, it was instantly rejected by Southampton. Yes, the fee was said to be, guess what? £46 million. What did I tell you in yesterday's video? The Southampton CEO is not selling Romeo Lavia, nor is he selling players under the valuation of the, 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 the price they've set on his head. Southampton want him for 50 million, they want 50 million pounds for Romeo Lavia. Not 46, not 41, not 44, 50 million pounds. Liverpool submitted a third bid today at 46 million pounds and have rejected it. We're a week away from the start of the Premier League season and another bid has been rejected. Liverpool piss arsing about for four million pounds, three million pounds here. Why waste money? Why waste time? It is getting embarrassing actually looking at that. Go match the valuation. A big club does not act like that. Uh, try and saving four million pounds on a player. Get him in through the door, meet the valuation. As I said, get him ready for Chelsea. Um, it does seem as though they probably will go back to the, the table with another offer. But that's the latest I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Liverpool had submitted a third bid for Romeo Lavia and it was instantly again rejected by Southampton. Um... Again, I did say yesterday that, as I said, the Southampton Southampton do aren't going to be selling their players under value. And um, again, Liverpool are going to have to either meet the £50 million valuation of the player or walk away from the deal entirely. But this one is certainly dragging on and shouldn't be. It shouldn't be a case. Liverpool should have had him in the door for Singapore. However, he hasn't been. They've been piss arsing around for trying to save a couple million here and there. They've received money for Jordan Henderson and for Binio. So there's plenty of money uh, there. They've not really spent that much on Sir Bosley and Alexis McAllister in this quote-unquote rebuild. So yeah, there is money there and they need to start spending it very, very soon, as I said, because the game is 
uh, on Sunday and there's still not enough time. It's still late now. It's very, very late uh, to do this business. It should have been done ages ago, as I said before, Singapore. However, they're still piss assing around over 4 million quid. But that's the owners that Liverpool are dealing with these days. So there you go. Uh, but enough about that. There's probably going to be a fourth bid imminent. Probably will meet the valuation or probably go in for a £49 million bid or something stupid like that. But we'll keep you up to date with that one. Um, Fabrizio Romano also came out and spoke about uh, Tiago. There was a lot of talk with regards to him that he could be moving to Sevilla. However, no negotiations, no talks, nothing at all between Tiago and Sevilla, despite the links. Tiago only focused at Liverpool. There was also talks about Mohamed Salah, apparently reportedly linked with Al Itahad. However, Paul Joyce has came out and said no to that. Mo Salah remains committed to Liverpool and will not join Al Itahad after being targeted. Yes, they literally are. The Saudis are going for absolutely everyone, but but Mo Salah will be at Liverpool Club Football Club this season and will not be going to Saudi Arabia, despite people trying to link him away. I think he's just an easy target. Um, so yeah, that is really it. That's all I've really got for you in terms of that sort of concrete transfer news. Fabrizio Romano also said yesterday um, uh, that Liverpool love Gravenberg. He's a player that he clarifies his position at Bayern. He is currently concerned about his future at Bayern, but the only possible way to pursue on the player side is with Bayern reluctant to sell. So Liverpool are admirers of of Gravenberg, so maybe one to watch there. But that is really it. As I said, transfer news is is, is fairly quiet. Well, it's not quiet. Of course, Liverpool submitting a, a third bid today, so they are making moves, but that's all that's there. It's been rejected. Nothing more on it. Um, and as I said, I think the club will probably return back to the table with another offer over the next sort of couple of days, certainly before Chelsea. But I do expect despite all this sort of merry-go-round and piss-arsing around, I do think Romeo Lavia will be a Liverpool player very, very soon. Um, it's just depending if Liverpool can get their ducks in order and come up with the money um, that Southampton are after. Um, in terms of other transfers, again, there has been a little bit quiet with other names. There has been names here, there and everywhere, but nothing really concrete apart from Andre, which we spoke about recently. However, there's no further update with regards to him. And then, of course, the centre-back signing. I don't know what's happening with that one either. Uh, but that's all we've really got, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just to conclude. Liverpool, of course. Um submitting a third bid for Romeo Lavia and having it instantly rejected by Southampton. Liverpool also winning 3-1 against Darmstadt in their final pre-season game. And yeah, that is pretty much all I've got for you. But tomorrow, guys, I'm looking forward to starting the new journey on the channel, the new background. I've spent a lot of money on it. It's a studio setup. Enough talking. I'm buzzing to show off. It's going to be the new home of LFC News as we look to try and go up the ranks a little bit. I've been very, very raw, the channel, in everywhere. You know, wardrobe in the background and stuff like that. But uh, I'm looking forward to this new chapter. And uh, so if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you want me to start doing live watch-alongs, um, I, I experimented it once or twice before, but live watch-alongs, would you guys be up for that? As I said, if, if I get a ton of comments saying you want me to do live watch-alongs, uh, just say yes or no down in the comment section below. I would, um, I will start doing them. But Liverpool fans, do let me know your thoughts on the situation in regards to the transfers and the Romeo Lavia bid being rejected. And as I said, do you feel confident for Liverpool ahead of the new campaign? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That does bring us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Remember, we do have new Liverpool t-shirts available on our website. So do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to copyclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.